today we're going to be working on our 3D turkey sculptures. A sculpture is a 3D piece of artwork. To begin, we're going to be using this soft white clay called Model Magic. And you want to start by squeezing your Model Magic into a ball. Take some muscles in your hand. Some people like to put it onto the table and roll it around. Some people like to put it from hand to hand like this. But you want to just roll it around until you get it to be a nice little ball. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball. Then you can decide if you want your turkey to have a head a little bit. You can pinch it. You can push it around. It mostly is just like a little blob. You might have one part that's a little bigger than another. You don't want to play with this clay too much or it will start to dry out. This first step we're going to just do pretty quickly. This paper is just to protect the table and our first job is to paint our turkey's body with some brown paint. We want this to dry so we don't want to use too much water. We're going to have water on our brush and then swish it around and around on the paint and then paint onto our turkey's body. We don't want to make it too wet so you can wipe your brush onto the paper a little bit. We are not painting the bottom where it's touching the table. You're just going to paint a little bit on your turkey's body. Then it doesn't have to be really a dark brown. When that's finished, you're going to leave your brush at your table and you're going to come to the carpet. Okay, we're back and our turkey body is still a little bit wet but it mostly has dried. It's okay if some brown comes off on your fingers. It will dry as the time goes on. Our next job is to assemble the pieces for making our turkey. Now it says on the edge of this container it tells you how many you need of each thing. This says three of these little orange V shapes. So while you're waiting a little more you could collect all of your materials. One, two, three orange V's, one red L. Sometimes they're not bent. You can bend it yourself to make it like an L. How many eyes? Two eyes. You can choose whatever eyes you like from here. I think I'll use these big ones this time. And then four big feathers. I only have enough of these kind of feathers for you to use four. You can use any colors you like, but choose four feathers. There will be a bag at the end of these fluffy feathers and you can use as many of those as you like, but only four big feathers. Once I have all of my pieces ready, I am going to think about how I want to start making my turkey. You can see where I have the three orange V's, a beak and two feet. You can put those in any way you want. You might want your beak in like I did on this guy, or you might want to turn it the other way so your beak is out like this. It's up to you, but you do need to push in your beak far enough that it stays. You could add a little waddle, that red waddle. You need to push it in with your thumb or your finger so it stays right there. The eyes should stick if you put them where you want them, but then you need to use your fingertip and push it into the clay a little bit. If, like I said before, if some of the brown comes off on your fingers, it's okay. Just wanna squeeze those eyes on there. Now I just need my feet. I can stick my turkey's feet down. However I like, I think I like to stick them. Now it wouldn't work to stick my feet under here because it wouldn't, they are not strong enough to stand on. But I could make them right out front so they're just peeking out when I set him down on the table. Now I'm ready for my feathers. I can do my four big feathers. You can do your feathers any way you like. I think it helps to hold, to pinch your feather down near the end and push it in nice and hard into the turkey so that it will stay. So I'm gonna do my four feathers all the way like that. And then if I wanna add some fluffy ones, these stay in the bag. Otherwise they fly all over the room and you can take a few that you want out. You can see the colors through the bag. And these are a little tricky to make them stick, but same thing, they have a hard point at one end. If you pinch your finger right down near that point, you can squish, you can squeeze it right in there. 
So you might want to make some wings like that. You might want to make, turn it around and make some fluffy tail feathers. It's up to you how you design your turkey. When you are all finished making your turkey, it's going to go on the tray. It's going to stay right on your paper with your name at your spot. And I will come around and collect it and write your name on it. And I will carry them down to your classroom for you to bring them home. When you're all finished with that, if you would like to draw a turkey at your table, you could do that or you could free draw. Have fun.